Hey guys, how you doing? So, the Tyobi index for January 2024, this is basically an index of the top programming languages that are out there. This is not the only index that is out there. They use their particular means of measurement. Uh, what they do is they scan all these search engines, they look at uh, occurrences of uh, programming language mention, mentions, so it gives you an idea of what's actually going on in the zeitgeist, what people are actually talking about. That's kind of important. So um, it's not necessarily definitive in terms of actual jobs, but let's just uh, jump into it. So number one, Python. So Python is still the most uh, popular programming language used today. Now, does that mean you should drop everything and learn Python? Not necessarily, no, because Python is used in very particular areas. AI, uh, machine, so AI machine learning, uh, big data, academic use. So again, as I keep saying over and over again on my videos, when you're evaluating languages, you have to look at the type of work that you would be doing with that language and what the reality is the situation is. Python could be the most misleading because as I said, a lot of the jobs are in various, are in AI research, or in, they're in academia, or they're in big data science. Now, again, if you want to become a data scientist, Python is a tool of the data scientist. Python programmers are not data scientists. Does that make sense? So, if you want to get into data science, you have to become a data scientist. It's a whole different thing. Python happens to be one of, one of the languages that they use. I believe R is another one. So uh, don't look at all the Python jobs and say, oh, I'm going to learn Python because I can get a job as a data scientist. You won't. You have to become a data scientist first. So keep that in mind. That being said, Python is a very good language. It has its ups and downs like every other language. Second, C. Good old C. You know, Python is like a 25, 30 year old language. C is like a 45 year old language. So that's super popular still. Why? Because of all these small devices that are running around. Uh, next, C++. Again, C with object oriented capabilities bolted on top. Again, very popular. Number four, uh, Java. Java is still super highly ranked. So we're at, uh, so number one was Python to recap. Number two is C. Number three was C++. Number four was Java. Again, according to this one index, you're gonna to go to other indexes, you're gonna get different, different opinions. Uh, number five, C Sharp. Now apparently in this piece, and I'll link to it under this video, uh, they were saying that C Sharp is actually rising pretty quick, whereas Java is falling. So uh, ratings for Java was 7.87%, ratings for C Sharp was 7.16%. The point is, is that there was a negative change with Java versus positive with C-sharp. Basically, Java is losing uh, popularity over time. All right, number six, JavaScript, of course. JavaScript is the only game in town when it comes to client-side web browser programming, and you also use it for backend, you can use it for AI. Ah, uh, number seven, well, this will surprise a lot of people, PHP, PHP is number seven. It's actually gained a little bit in popularity since last year. Number uh, eight, Believe it or not, Visual Basic. The next, SQL, the Structured Query Language, the language of relational databases. I always tell people, if you're gonna learn databases, learn uh, the a relational database first, and then you can look at others. Uh, next, this one really surprised me, is number 10, Scratch. Scratch? I don't know. Next language, number 11, is Go. A very specialized language. The next language is Fortran. <laughs> it's like, Again, uh, then you got Delphi, Pascal, number 13. Then you got MATLAB, which is again used in academics. And then uh, number 15, you got Assembly. Then you got Swift, number 16. Then you got number 17, Kotlin. Number 18, Ruby. Number 19, Rust. And number 20, COBOL. Uh, here's the chart. You can freeze frame this and you can take a look at it and you see the progression of the languages over time. This list is derived from whatever criteria that they use. They check out a bunch of search engines, ignore some. They look at mentions. Again, this list does not necessarily mean or equal to the number of jobs that are out there. It just gives you an idea of what the chatter is out there. What surprises a lot of people new to development 
is that they'll hear on the YouTubes and elsewhere from all these uh, young nerdlings who are still learning or juniors in the game. They live in a little junior bubble and you hear all this talk about this technology, this cutting edge technology, that cutting edge. And then they go out there and they find out that there's a lot of, a lot of legacy stuff, meaning older stuff that people are using. PHP, SQL, C, C++, jQuery, uh, Bootstrap, uh, WordPress. jQuery, Bootstrap, WordPress are not languages, but you get the idea. These are really old technologies that kind of have lost favor with the, uh, the nerdlings out there. If you understand software development and coding from a broader perspective, from a more mature perspective, you know that the languages and the frameworks come and go. And you know that once you've learned one object-oriented programming language, you pretty much know about all of them. Whether you understand how to use MySQL or PostgreSQL, you understand SQL-based databases. Point is, as you become more mature as a developer, you're going to understand that these different languages and different technologies, what you see oftentimes is just variations of the same ideas. So when I look at React, for example, what they do on the client side had been executed on the server side for many, 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 many years. So when I saw React, young nerdlings were going, Ooh, wow, this is so cool, this stuff. And I said, oh yeah, it's cool, but this is something, this is, you know, this, this basic design pattern we've been using for years on the client, on the server. Anyway, that's about it. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any uh, comments, uh, suggestions, you have any disagreements with me, let me know. Keep in mind, this is only one index and there are many others out there. All right, we'll talk soon. Cheers.